Now swing the stick back and forth continuously. Again, as you swing, image that you are swinging a rope. So then at the end, you have to wait until the rope goes around, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the motion is a lot better. A lot better than your initial swing motion. Now, so the way you move the stick is a lot better. But still, it stops here, stops here. So that means you just swing and then stop here, swing and stop here. But image this. When you try to hit something hard, you don't hit like this. This is called the counter movement. In order to promote this motion, you're going opposite and then let it go. So this back swing, wind up and <coughs> using the back swing, you're swinging. Uh, swing the fast in the downswing here. So the back swing is helping this downswing motion. For that, you have to connect this. So, so if it's lightsaber, instead of a wang, wang here, wang, wang, have that image. DJ swing. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So now you are not pulling it down, but you are coming this way. Coming this way and the swing through instead of pulling it down. This is good. Again. And then when you do the trigger motion on this side, keep it a bit lower. Yeah, yeah. Then you have to turn the body this way from the beginning. Turn here and then start from there, then you can go more laterally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, even higher uh, pitch here. So we hear the whoosh sound, but this is not fast enough for him. Yeah, so you're putting too much effort in the downswing. But when you have a fast back swing, automatically your downswing will be active. So if you have to put effort, it's got to be back swing. Mm, more active, more active back swing. But now your, your back swing plane is too flat going that way. Going in that way. So. Mm. So if the back swing is going to a flat here, then you have to intentionally turn the body here. So from the beginning, let it go this way. Mm. Swing this way. So you have the intention that uh, you bring the hands a bit higher on this side, laterally, and then turn this way. Go higher and then turn this way. This flat back swing is a common problem for pretty much every golfer. So we tend to turn too much in the back. Mm -hmm. And then, because uh, some, a lot of people promote the into out swing. But even if uh, you have a uh, square swing plane here to the target, because the low point is on this side here, the ball is on the left side, so the low point is on this side here. So in your perspective, it looks like the, the club head is going into out, even if it's a uh, square. So naturally, you will have that feel of uh, into, into out here. However, if you intentionally have too much into out swing, then your swing plane is way outward. Sometimes you have block shot, sometimes you have low hook. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's because of the swing plane. 
Then in order to change the downswing plane, you have to work on the backswing plane. Unless you change the backswing plane, it's hard to change the downswing plane. So on the way down, so from the end of the downswing, so go to here, end of the downswing here, end of the downswing here, your hands are going out too much from the beginning because your body is turning too early. Then naturally this goes in here. Okay? So from this, from this, start, uh, do not turn guide too early, and then bring this down this way here. Okay? Initially, do not turn early, and then bring this down, and then turn the body, and it will go about here. So when you start from this position, when you start the backswing here, without turning the shoulders early, just bring it down, down and then continue this motion. But at the beginning, if your body turn quite a bit here, then the only way you can move the, the hand is the inward here. So suppress early shoulder turn from the end of end of downswing to uh, back swing. That's better. That's better. Now, let's go to a stage three of the two steps in place. So use a regular stance, and then have a good trigger motion. In this trigger motion, it's important to turn the body. Most people, without turning the body, just use the arms here. That's why it goes high up here, and you pull it in, then it goes flat here. So turn the body more, and then from here, instead of turning early, go start from here, and then throw more laterally in the back thing. So, ooh, mm. Swing. That's the stage three. Yeah. So uh, stay, uh, cycle by cycle. Finish, finish your one cycle, and then start all over again. Uh, 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 the trigger motion is not, not good. You're in your trigger motion, you are just uh, turn here and lift this up here. Instead, everything is moving along the inclined swing plane here. So turning the body about the spine axis, and then you're turning. Yeah, yeah. And then because the body is turned, using that you have active back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything should be rhythm. Are you a good dancer? No. You need to have a dance class. So here. Yeah. So here, mm. <coughs> you have a, this rhythm motion mm. Mm. using the legs. Mm. 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 Rhythmic, dance motion. So have a feel of a little bit up and down motion, but it's not coming from this motion, rather maintain the axis, you have a leg actually. And finish, uh, finish one side, and then start all over again. Ah, 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 here. You're moving. You are, you, you put his back here, and then try to use arms here. Instead, use the body, turn, body, and turn. Always is the turn about the spine axis here. So from here, turn, turn, turn. And then no need to lift this up in the trigger motion. No need to lift this. Just to maintain this motion. So from here, turn, going here. Turn, going here. Instead of, instead of this one, you have to go here. So keep, keep the club head along this plane. This is the plane of motion that you want to use. Then follow that plane here. But if you uh, go this way, it moves away, right? If this is the swing plane, you have to let it go this way, and also let it go this way, and then swing this way. Stick to uh, the plane.
Mm -hmm. And in the, in, when you start down, you have to hold this position here instead of using the arms early. So, here. Ooh, ooh, good wind up here. Ooh, ooh, good wind up, hold here in, in one action, let it go. Yes. Keep the keep back swing a bit fast. Mm -hmm. This is the back swing is not coming. Active back swing is not coming from the trigger. Using the trigger motion, mm, from here your body is moving here, and they're using this active back swing. The whole purpose of the trigger motion is to promote active back swing. If you don't have active back swing, then trigger is doing nothing. Again. Yeah, the back swing is a little bit too flat. Yeah, so maybe. So I got a question. So when you start the forward swing there, you're getting the body in motion, you're able to have a fast back swing. But if you're in a stop position, what's you have how, to, do you you have, do you, how do you swing fast? You have to start the back swing by using the slight body motion. You must have a body trigger and then start. The right leg is really important. So Be what, what I asked you before about when you when you straighten the right leg, aren't you raising the elevation? Your elevation. You, you are going. You are bringing the hip up. Right. So you have to bring the hip you up. You have to bring yourself back down. No, no, no. If your pelvis, your pelvis is inclined forward here, yeah. and then when you turn the pelvis about the pelvis axis here, automatically the right side has to go up. Go up. So is your elevation coming up or it's just that your pelvis is in it, your hip is just straightening it. Your leg is No, no, no. Again, the, the, this, if this is the pelvis plane here, right, right. pelvis is inclined forward here. If you try to turn the pelvis along the swing plane, the pelvis turns like this. Right. Then right hip has to go up. When the right hip goes up, then you can move the pelvis along the swing plane. If the right hip does not go up, Rather, it goes backward, then you turn it flat, backward. So you have to go this way. So, so are you changing your elevation when you do that? You're not. You're not getting. You're not changing your your elevation. No, you, you're turning just along this plane here. This side goes up, but this side goes down. Okay. Yeah. So you have you are raising the right hip up, but your left hip is going down. And then, when you start the downswing, so swing and go to this position here, the maintain this. Imagine that you're from this position here, in one action, throw. So let's go, let's do this. Go to the top position here, okay, wherever, uh, whatever your, your goal is, about here. From here, so turn the body up here, from this position, in one action, without using arms already, okay? Just to go to the top. Just, just go to the top, 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 top. And then stop there, stop there. So from there, if you want to swing hard in the downstream, let's just swing hard, swing hard. You have to turn your body, right? From here, from here. If you want to swing hard, then turn the body, and then let it go. So again, go to, go to the top. Yes. So that way you eliminate unnecessary arm motion at the beginning of the touch. So go up. And then go up and have more time here. And then let it go. But currently you're going flat, a little bit flat. Flat and then at the end you're lifting here. So go to that target position straight. Okay, yeah. Glenn in. So from here, and then if this is your target position, use the express way here and go straight to that position instead of go flat first and then try to lift here.
So, go up, <coughs> go. This time you start the flat. Back swing was flat. Yeah. So here, that's why you need to use the trigger motion. Here. If you use a trigger motion, in one action, if you bring this up here, then this motion is continuing, continuing, and then you go to this position. So that's why you have to start from the beginning, active motion here. With active motion, this motion, you set the plane here. Instead, just go here and then try to pull this in. So use, from the trigger motion, at the transition, you start back here. Use this motion to set the plane. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. That's it, that's it. That plane was really good. And you got it. Yeah. So, the, the purpose of the trigger motion is it, it the promotes good backswing here. So then, from here, if you really use this portion correctly, then you just continue this motion and then it will go here. But if you don't use this, it's just a turn the body and things like that, and then it goes flat here. You have two, two stage motions. But from here, in one motion, let go, then you will it. That plan was really good. Again, use the trigger. Then you don't need anything here, because if you go flat here, you lift it here, and then turn, so you have a complex motion here. But in one motion, you just go to this position, and then return, the motion becomes really simple. Ah, this time a bit flat. So start the early part of the, the backswing actively. Go here and then actively start from here in one action. This time slow, it was slow, and then it went to flat. So you, you should be able to control, you should be able to sense what you are doing and then control it. So here, if the goal is to move, uh, stay on the, on the middle. If your goal is to move this along this plane here, make sure you move this along this plane. Move this plane and then you are here. No. So this, is, this motion is important here to set the entire vacuum plane. If this is right, as simple as just reversing the direction. So you have the image. You have the image of the backswing plane. Only when you have a clear understanding of the backswing plane, then you can stick to that plane, right? So stick to the swing plane in the backswing. Again. Still inward. And then backswing is still, you can increase the speed a lot more. Here, here. Mm, whip. For that, you have to use the right leg, pushing the ground. Awaken your right leg in the backswing. Mm, it's slow. You uh, go here, but. Here, if the right leg go here and then right leg kicks the ground, right leg kicks the ground and then simply throw. No need to drag it, no need to drag it all the way here. Throw it. Okay. Using the momentum developed here, throw the club. Using active leg action. Again. Make, make the swing plate a bit flat. Yeah, curtain is a bit too stiff. Again. Ah, it's too, too much inward in the back. That's, that's, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Yes, that's, that's good, that's, that plane is good. Because you moved the club along this plane here, 
As long as you move down along that plane, then already the plane is set. You continue that motion. But coming up here, and when you start the, the back swing, the planes are different. That's why you go inward. So if you went this way, and make sure bring bring it along there. It's as simple as that. So you are not using all the sensory inputs in organizing your motion. That's why. So the purpose of the trigger motion is to set the basis of everything. So if you move the club in the correct direction in the trigger motion, in the back swing, just to stick to that plane here. Go up and then stick to that plane, and then throw this, then you, you are not going flat. So using the motion, try to figure out the, the, the position at the top instead of going to certain posture. So again, pay attention to motion of the, the clip head. And then, on the way down, on the way down, at the end, you, you tend to turn your body too much here. So swing down here, and your body is turning too much, you have lifted this up here. Yeah. Only turn as much as you need, and then swing through this way here. That way you can maintain the axis reasonably. But because your body is turning too much here, your body has to extend. All right. So go here, wind up, and swing through. Let it go. You are just throwing the hands and club head in front of your body. Let it go. And then finish here. Is that all? What do we do? Particularly, you are throwing the hands and club head toward the target, right? Hey, hey he's got, you got so many of these, I didn't get one of those. I got like one fist pump and that was it. You got like all of these. Yes, yes. That, that turn is reasonable. So when your body turns this way too much here, your body turning too much, your club has to go that way. Because your body turning too much, then your body stands up here, your arm is going up like this. But here, you maintain the axis here, just to throw it, then you still lean reasonably, just swing, finish, and then finally finish the motion here, right? So that way you can maintain the swing plane and also swing axis here. Hmm. Yes, yes, the plane is really good. And then now you're not turning too much on this side. Let's make it so I stand there. This time aim at the far uh, T here. So that means you have to make the swing plane the flare. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. That way you can use a full leverage here. Alan has the issue of bringing the hands too close. That's why the swing plane becomes a, a steeper. He's not reaching out here. But now with the flatter swing plane, that when you reach out here, the arms will be extended. So you can swing through, and you, you can use the full leverage here. Okay? Again, stand in the middle there. In the, in the middle, stand in the middle, in the middle. And then just aim that far, far uh, T here. Slide outward. Uh, in the back swing, you're going, you're going inward. So. In the trigger motion, from there in the trigger motion, keep the trigger motion a bit flatter. And then move, move back the club a little bit. Uh, this time again, you went in quite a bit. So here, go flat and then maintain that plane, and then you'll have to go a bit higher on this side.
So, okay, stay there. And then, okay, come this way. Bring the, bring the club, the trigger motion here. So if the club is here, then maintain the same plane. If you actively start the back swing here, then it come this way. Then. Let it go high up here. Okay. And then it will be easier to come down and swing this way. So stick to, uh, stick to the initial plane. Yes, yes, yes. That, that, that. So you need the, for a while you need the intentional or purposeful practice for the back swing. Right. So using this, you set the basis here. And from here, following the same path faster than you have to go to this position. But if you bring the hands a bit low, always you're pulling it in here. Then you're not using this that much. Ooh. <coughs> So with the trigger, if you keep practicing this, and if you stick to this plane, then you will go to a certain position here, right? right? And then continue this motion, simple motion here. And then remember that, and then with the regular swing, also you have to go to that position. But really, through this practice, you have to adjust the plane. Once you have a good plane established, you have to feel the orientation of the plane, and then stick to that plane.